Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in this video I'll be showing you guys how you can win the podium car first try on your very first attempt. Now this week's podium vehicle is definitely a classic. It is the Pegasi Zintorno. This is a vehicle in which you can purchase from Legendary Motorsports for a price of $725,000. Now, if you guys, because this was released during uh, GT Online's release, this was actually in story mode too, this vehicle, if you had this, you had money in the game. Now, it, under a million, it means nothing, everyone can get that nowadays, but back then, that was expensive, that was expensive for that price. So, I just want to go ahead and give a big old shout out to Pegasus and Torno. Since that was actually like the first legitimate supercar I ever had in the game. So yeah. But anyway, uh, just get started with this. You're going to have two requirements. First thing is you need to be in an invite only session. The reason for that is because the saving is a bit different in an invite only. As well as you also get the lucky podium wheel. Where the vehicle is two slots to the left. And the $20,000 is two slots to the right. If you guys were to be in a public session, there's a good chance that someone's already spun the wheel, so it's going to be in a whole different place. So you just want to make sure to stick to an invite-only session just for, you know, safety precautions. And now the next thing you're going to need, which is actually going to make this trick way easier, is a controller. Now, if you guys ever use a controller, if you have a joystick, you can actually adjust how fast or how slow to spin the wheel, unlike on keyboard... Where you can only press a key and you only have one certain speed they go to it. So make sure you have a controller for this. And that is really the only requirements in order to get started. Now for I actually show you the full demonstration of it. First, let's go ahead and tell you our sponsor for today's video. Have you ever been broke in GTA and just wish you could go from this to that without spending a bunch of shark cards that go from a $99 just to a million? That could probably get you a couple cars, maybe some buildings and businesses, but nothing to what you need. Luckily, we have OP Mods. OP Mods is a GTA 5 money account and services website that's basically really trustworthy. Not only do they actually show their proof of work and have a 5 star rating of Trustpilot, but they're also a lot cheaper than the other GTA 5 competitors. And you can even use code discount legit for a 5% discount on all your purchases. Thank you, and back to the video. Alright, so you can see here on the bottom right hand corner, we have the view of a PlayStation 5 controller. Like I said, any controller works as long as it has a joystick on it. So what I like to do, everyone has a different trick for this, but I like to wait until the character actually puts his hand on the wheel, and then right whenever you see that, you want to count to a 3 Mississippi, or 3 seconds. So, for instance, you go 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, right after that Mississippi, what you want to do is slowly, very, very slowly, put the joystick down. That way, the wheel spins slowly, and you actually have a higher percentage of actually getting it on your first attempt. Now, for some reason, if you don't do that, which is totally normal and that is fine, all you want to do is force close the game out on either the PlayStation, Xbox, and PC works. But instead for PC, you have to use the task manager for it. And that is the entire trick to it. Very easy to do. And there you guys go. So hopefully you guys have found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content like this. With that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there. And goodbye.